Hi guys, I just want you to know that now you can join my channel uh, on your PC or your phone. Uh, you would click the join button and you can scroll and you can join for $9.99 each month and get early access to all videos. And you can also um, get one question answered by me every month. Um, and you'll get access to all the extendeds. There is also another tier uh, for $14.99, uh, you will get two questions answered every month and access to uh, all the extended readings and early access to just all videos. So take advantage now. Uh, it's here for you. Thank you. Take care. Hello, Aquarius. It's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it, Aquarius. All right, so thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see what's going on for the Aquarius. All right, so what we'll, we'll do, we'll pull cards for career and finance first. All right, so what's happening? for career and finance in the past for Aquarius. The energy in the past for, okay, the sun card, very nice. So it looks like you had gotten a lot of exposure. You're happy, joyous about something. Something came in for you. Just a happy time all together. It also says that um, maybe the seeds that you planted, they, they're now are blossoming, sprouting. Um, you're seeing the um, the fruition, you know, the seeds that you planted. So that looks really, really good. Some of you could have a new job promotion. Something came in for you. It's just altogether good energy. It says the universe is aligning things so that you get a lot of visibility. So um, maybe you need to make yourself visible or you have. All right, let's see what the present holds for Aquarius and career and finance. Career finance for Aquarius in the present. Very nice judgment. Okay, so it, two major arcana here. So it looks like you might be going back to something or reviving something. You also could be letting go, making a decision to go to one another thing or uh, something else with the judgment card. You may get some judgment in terms of um, maybe your career, getting honest about yourself, about what it is you need to do. This could even be letting something go, studying. Uh, relinquishing yourself maybe you were holding yourself to this dead-end job or you were just holding yourself in a place where you, you weren't making a decision you were in confusion it looks like the universe is asking you to make a snap decision about what it is you really want so you can go to the next level some of you want newness but you're afraid to take the leap so the judgment card is asking you to really dig deep depend, you know decide what it is you want now so that you can have it what does the future hold for Aquarius? What does the future hold for Aquarius in career and finance? What's the future? Okay, the Eight of Cups. So it's definitely you walking away from something that is unfulfilling. We just talked about that in the judgment card. Some of you, you have been in a career. You've been in some type of, um, yeah, career, job, business. You've got to go on this journey and really find out what it is you really want to do. This is like soul searching. Some of you want to do more fulfilling work. Some of you are just in a position where you just show up, you get paid, you move on, and you do the same thing over and over again. It's just like you have to determine how are you going to bring your um, your dreams or aspiration into fruition with the magician card. How do you make it real? How do you make it happen? How do you bring the dreams out of the the mind space into the 3D, the reality. Do How do you make it reality? It's like some of you right now are getting bright flashes of inspiration about what it is you should be doing. You're getting inspired thought. Um, you need to learn how to do something, sell yourself, um, put something together. This could even be getting more information. Again, back to study. All right, so gaining some knowledge of. Some of you are going to go on some type of journey here. It says unknown length of time, but it's like you have to soul search in terms of what. Because some of you want to start a business or start this or start that, but you don't know what you should be starting. So it's like you got to go on, on this journey here with the Eight of Cups. 
and you're going to figure out what is best what is best for you or where would your talent be best served uh, where will you serve um, some of you have um, you're doing the self-analysis here and you're walking away from maybe a job a career or something that is bringing you you know disappointment maybe that is even putting you at a disadvantage you know, um, this is finishing up something and then moving on. Like I'm going to finish out this year or finish out this contract or finish this out and then I'm moving on. I'm making plans to move on. It's almost as if there is an energy of someone planning their escape in terms of career and finance. All right. So um, let's see what uh, love and romance has for the Aquarius. What was the past energy for love and romance for the Aquarius? That's okay the five of swords so defeat you know you didn't get what you wanted um you had to sharpen your words with someone you had to you know stand up for yourself stand your ground there couldn't even be a energy of separation not talking to not being around a particular person this also could be that you were in a relationship where there was a ma manipulation mental manipulation there were games being played here it was win lose draw um, you could have been been the loser or you decided to draw, you know, to walk away. Um, or you decided to stand and fight and this is has been you know, this is this is what the relationship is, a complete mess, a fight with the five of swords here. It also talks about um with the five of swords it's like aggression, you know, someone being very aggressive in terms of getting what it is they want. Someone was trying to manipulate you mentally with the five of swords here uh, this relationship could have been this was like a love affair maybe that really didn't get the the status change maybe you didn't get to girlfriend and boyfriend maybe you act like you were but it really wasn't that this was your girlfriend or boyfriend or maybe it was but this person always kept uh, another energy around somebody was playing with you um this is bad blood between you and someone else with the five of swords here. This this is bad blood. This could have been trickery also. Someone just tricking you. It could have been drug use. It's a lot going on here in the five of swords. Uh, an all out brawl, a fight, you know, um, not backing down. Um, it was always a mashup between the two of you. It was never a meeting of the minds or, um, you know, it, it was never... Uh, Compromise is what I'm hearing. Let's see what the energy holds for Aquarius in right now. Okay, what's the energy in love? The Nine of Swords. Okay, so somebody is diff. So we have all these nines here. It's definitely a lot of worry. Okay, a lot of worry. This also could be a test, a test of your 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 faith. Um, this could be a trial. You know, um, what about what it is you really want? And so there is definitely separation here. Somebody's going through like maybe like a, a real dark space here because of maybe how they did you or how you did them or it was mutual but it's like I can't stop thinking about somebody's in a dark space also in terms of whomever you're dealing with somebody's not in the best mental energy um this is not a person that I can't you know that you want to be with or that you should even try to be with right now they're going through a lot of pain someone that you're dealing with could be in pain like physical pain with the nine here could even be saying that it could be God inflicted. This could be a uh, karma. This could be someone getting what is due unto them. Someone didn't do right, so they're getting what they put out. Um, you could be seeing someone getting their karma. You could be having a front row seat to this. Um, somebody, again, is not in the best energy. An inability to cope with reality right now with the nine of swords. Somebody is having to rest in that sea of emotions and thoughts and they can't run away from it, especially at night. You could be dealing with someone who's a night shift worker. This could be you. Somebody's sleep pattern is off. Someone is just not in a good, in a best spirit. They will not listen to, yeah, they won't change or change their mind or listen to the calling of, you know, Supreme Source or whatever you believe in God, angels, I don't know. They won't listen to divinity, you know, and, and because they won't, this is the energy that they're in. This could be you, Aquarius, could be someone else. And don't feel like it's your energy. It's, some, it's somebody who, are, who wouldn't take to a relationship or wouldn't take to, um, they wouldn't listen to the call, you know, 
You don't know what a call could have been about. It could be about the relationship, you know, about doing better, being better, um, choosing to be different. What is the future energy for Aquarius here? Future energy for Aquarius. Love energy for Aquarius. Okay, the Emperor. So it looks like um, somebody comes out solid, stable. I feel like that is your energy. Um, okay, so you could be a husband or you could be ready for a marriage. Um, you, you're going to stand your ground. Um, something about God also. Like, you know, maybe you're hearing of the call. Are you understanding that somebody's getting there? What is this about? Yeah, pay their swords. So you're definitely not going to go towards an energy here. Somebody is two st stubborn people. Could be same sex. Still checking in on each other. Still looking in on each other. Um, it's lack of communication. Somebody just won't heed. They will not lean into. They're steadily pulling away from. They're coming into the relationship or the connection with a lot of resistance. It's like somebody just won't let, you know, you know, won't let the universe really take its course here. It's like someone's really fighting against it. It could be you, Aquarius. It could be the other person. This is somebody here. Um, the future energy is someone being very, very stubborn and not talking to you as much. Not giving you as much attention. Or they're giving you like yes, no answers to questions if you have any. I knew it was coming out. Somebody's getting a lot of negative karma. The Hermit card. I think you may have even spoken to this person, um, you know, about what's going on with them or why they're getting this. Or maybe you, you gave them some type of hint. This could be a twin flame here. I don't know. It could be somebody here you have a real strong connection with. You could even meet somebody new. The past, Okay, so a past person is definitely getting what they deserve. They don't want to talk to you right now um, because they are heartbroken. They're dealing with a lot. Um, they're dealing with a loss. They're dealing with hurt. They're dealing with shame, pain also, maybe physical pain. What is this about? Yeah take action um the universe is really trying to prompt your person to take action to do something yeah yeah yes whoa to communicate clearly yeah it's like this part okay that's why i'm getting that stubborn energy whomever this is and listen to your intuition your person needs to listen to their intuition or if this is you Aquarius, you need to listen to your intuition it's like the universe is telling someone you need to go and make amends you need to go and do this or the universe is really illuminated enlightening um, a particular person you or your other person or the both of you individually enlightening you know or um bringing to your knowledge of of self of your own personal philosophy of how you treated people or treat people or how you treated the Aquarius or vice versa how Aquarius treated you um it's like the universe is saying you need to go and communicate yes definitely you do you need to communicate clearly you need to take action about how you really feel about this person because you could lose them also until you do so you're going to be in an energy of the nine of swords overthinking anxiety hurt pain shame guilt not being able to cope it's like somebody needs to listen to their intuition because the universe is speaking all right i'm going to clarify the yes answer and then we're out of here it just seems as if your person is extremely stubborn they won't listen to um the fact that they need to make amends they need to apologize they won't listen to someone who has expertise or knowledge of they won't listen to god they won't listen to spirit whatever What's the yes answer? What's the yes answer here? Uh, the page of cups came out. Okay, so somebody showed up in someone's dream or someone needs to take action and be more romantic. They need to declare their feelings. They need to say exactly how they feel. They need to get off the fence, the two of pentacles. They need to... Um, this is a declaration of intention. Somebody needs to declare what they intend to do, what their intentions are. Someone needs to speak. 
you know, because there's too much silence and separation here with the four of swords. Yeah, maybe with um, the Aquarius. It's like a lot of reminiscing, nostalgic energy, but I'm not going to go towards the Aquarius. I'm going to stand in my power and even try to manifest the Aquarius to come back towards me. But the universe is saying that this person might need to come towards you, Aquarius. And until they do, they're going to be in a world of karmic trouble until they actually come to you and apologize, make amends, say something, do something. Somebody also is in a lot of pain, you know, um, either mentally, emotionally, or physically. It's not the universe, but this person in a holding place in terms of, okay, you won't take to the relationship you won't apologize you won't make amends you did this person wrong okay so we're gonna put you in this nine of swords type of energy until you listen to your intuition and either go make amends and be with the aquarius or vice versa the aquarius needs to, needs to do this or you at least need to apologize you need to at least um make it so that uh eleven the eleven level the playing field here because it seems as if somebody has a lot of unexpressed emotion someone has not taken action someone wants to maintain you know their power or stay in the power seat and not come to you Aquarius or vice versa this is what you're doing but it's like the universe is really pushing this person out of their comfort zone out of their own made-up philosophy about love and life you got to come out of that and you have to do something completely different. And you have to communicate clearly about how you feel, what you want, and what you, you know, what your intentions are. And someone's having a hard time doing that because they feel like it makes them um, vulnerable, soft, or they won't have the power. The other person has the power. If I declare to you how I feel, what I really want from you, how much I love you, um, then then you have the power to trample over me or on my heart. It's like somebody is trying to protect themselves so much that they're losing out on the one thing that God, spirit, angels, whatever you believe in, get, is giving this person. So it's like the universe is really putting this person in a in a place of um you're gonna have to deal. You know? You're gonna have to deal. You have to deal with the karma that you have created for yourself until you actually go forward and change it. So that's what I have for you, Aquarius. If it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of um, the coupon codes or the discount codes in the community tab. So get one of those codes and then go over to the website and book. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can also uh, donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Ella Coffee link. If this reading blessed you, you could return the blessing. Um, what else? Oh, join the channel. The join button is there. You can join the channel, get it access to the extended readings, which I will be doing more of. And then also you can ask one question every single month. Uh, via the tarot you will get your question answered via the tarot by me all right so take advantage join the channel uh, come visit the lives tuesday thursday and sunday night thank you many blessings to you